Come on. On your feet, pygmy brain. You almost blew it, Grandma. Didn't expect him to knock me down. Guess I'm starting to show my age. Just settle down, mutant. Stealing purses from little old ladies ought to get you the chair. Get in the room. What are you doing? Well, I just sprayed my car with disinfectant. I don't want this slime ball smelling it up again. I can't watch this. Good, then turn your head. Assault. Battery. Mayhem. Brutality. The criminal element is totally out of control, sir. These charges are against you. You, nobody else. Couldn't you just... You were two blocks away from the station house. Did you have to drag the men all over the freeway system? I wanted to give him time to reflect. Captain, I have to apologize. I tried to stop Sledge, but... Don't try to shift the blame, Doro. The commissioner has asked me to take your badges. You're on six months suspension, both of you. Oh, don't drag her into this. It wasn't her fault. Besides, she's just a girl. Six months? How about 12 months? Why don't you make me a guard on death row? Get out. No money for six months. I'm already behind in my car payments. My gun is going to rust. You know, all I did last night was fall asleep in front of the TV. It was pathetic. Yeah, what were you watching? I don't know. All I remember is somebody saying, hi, Rick, and then the next thing I heard was, play it again, Sam, or something. Oh, we parked the car in a police zone. I better move it. Oh, you don't think just because you're on suspension the trunk would give you a ticket, do you? Move, move the, the car. car. I thought you had some smarts, Hammer. Where'd you come from? The little lady that just ankled out of here with the gray gams, uh, she yours? Gams? Yeah, gams, you know. Pins, legs, smooth, long, classy looking. She's like a breath of fresh air in this stagnant world of ours. I know who you are. The weatherman on TV. There's a lot of gin joints in this crazy world, but there's only one reason I picked this hole. Happy hour? Oh, cut out the comedy. <laughs> I'm here because you need some advice. Today, I think they call it uh, career counseling. Yeah, you're right. I haven't fired my gun in a couple of hours. I think I do need some help. Hey, a bartender, uh, bring my friend a drink, huh? Do what? I said bring my friend a drink, OK? Yeah, sure. I'll bring him one. Hey, Dro, come on over here. Meet the local weatherman. I don't see anyone. That's Doreau. I'm afraid she's a cop with a skirt. What next? Lady wrestlers? Sled? Who are you talking to? The dame's right. It's the rules. Only you can see me. Look, drink jockey. Do you see a guy in a trench coat standing over there? Only a girl. It's a guy. <laughs> sure, it's a guy. I see him. Anything you say. Thoreau, I'm afraid you're really stressed out. I think you should sleep through suspension. What do you mean I'm stressed? You're talking to an empty bar stool. We're both uptight. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Well, don't worry, old friend. We'll have you out shooting again before you can cock your trigger. All right, Hammer. Put away the heater. They don't work on me anymore. Pain is just a memory. Get it? You know, if I could have pulled this off back in the old days, I would have had Cagney and Robinson right where I wanted them. Are you real or am I hallucinating? 
You know, in the old days when a cop got laid off, the first thing he did was go into business for himself. What are you talking about? The uh, private eye. You know, Richard Diamond, Sam Spade, Philip Marlowe. We all did it. And you got all the qualifications. What do you think? Want to go into business? You may be overqualified. <laughs> Three. Two wrong numbers and an offer to cater a bar mitzvah. I told them no, no, and maybe. New hairdo? Yes. This is what happens when I can't afford my regular hairdresser. Well, just remember, if you don't look good, we don't look good. Nice outfit. Now, that's the first time you've looked like a real girl. Yeah, well, if I don't get my hair fixed, I'll need a guide dog. <laughs> Not bad. Looks like you're all set up. That's a good looking dame you got out there. <laughs> Why don't you buy us some cheap perfume and take her out for some spaghetti? Hey, I'm broke, remember? Yeah, well, uh, what you need now is a uh, dame in danger. <laughs> so far, all I got out of this is pocket lint. That's about the change. <laughs> There's a client here? There is? Yeah, says she's Mrs. Emily Carstairs. Send her in. Who is she? What a woman. <laughs> if ever there was a dame in danger, she's it. She ain't Lauren Bacall, but uh, she's close. Mr. Hammer. Mr. Sledge Hammer. The same. Can I take your coat? Well, sorry, but I'm naked underneath. Then I insist on taking your coat. You're cute. But, um, I just came from posing for the life drawing class at the university. Just doing my part for higher education. Makes me want to go back to school. Get to it. I can't do that. I just met her. No, I mean, find out what the caper is. Right, right. Are you talking to someone? No, no, no. I was mumbling. <laughs> so, what makes you think you need a private eye, Mrs. Carstairs? My husband's body was found washed up on the beach. He'd been lying there for a week. So I guess he was dead, right? I kicked actors out of my movies for saying stupid things like that. Oh, just ask her how her husband was killed. He'd been strangled with seaweed. I was just going to ask you that. Sounds fishy to me. If he was lying on a beach for a week... Yeah, how come nobody said anything? About what? Oh, come on, Mrs. Carstairs. How could your husband be lying dead on a beach for a week and yet not one person reported it? Well, he had such a great tan that nobody noticed him. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is very difficult for me. You see, ever since my husband died, a man has been calling me demanding money. He says that if I don't pay him $100,000, he'll kill me. I need your help, Mr. Hammer. I ask her who the bum is. Any idea who the bum is? No. All I know is that he said my husband had welshed on some business arrangement and that he'd be round tonight at nine to collect. Did you call the police? They, they said they couldn't do anything. Who they use? Oh, Mr. Hammer. I need protection now. Will a thousand a day be all right? Gee, that sounds kind of steep. I don't have that kind of money. She's offering to pay you the thousand, bonehead. Yeah, all right, right. <laughs> right. Well, it's either you or the bar mitzvah. The grand is copacetic. Oh, 
So you'll take the case. Consider it solved. Oh, I feel better already. I need protection. I'm in constant danger. Not with me around. Wedge, you hit the ERA sign across the street. Good. Then I didn't waste any bullets. We gotta get over to your place. I'm going with you. Girl Friday's staying in the office. Yeah. You stay here, Doro. I can take care of this. Go into the other room and fix your hair. I don't want you bumping into things. Doll would melt anyone's badge. Okay, get out to the cost ass place fast. We gotta go to your place now. You really are worth a thousand dollars a day, aren't you? Hmm? Plus expenses. <laughs> Don't forget, you owe me for that broken window. I get the feeling the only thing you've ever done for a living is inherit. Take it easy. She's only a flake off the upper crust. Quite a place you got here. Oh, this is only my guest house. My main house is being repaired. Oh, what happened? A jet crashed into it while you were landing on your private runway? <laughs> How did you know? May I get you a drink? No, I never drink when I'm on duty. <laughs> but uh, then I'm on suspension. <laughs> well, do help yourself. The bar's over there. I'm just going to sip into something more cliché. Fancy joint here. <laughs> I bet she even wallpapers the inside of the refrigerator. Yeah, last time I was in a place this big, the Yankees lost to the Red Sox. How do people afford places like this? She picked it up cheap from Jim and Tabby Baker. Somebody's coming. Clothes are much tighter in the 80s. I like it. I, excuse me, senor. Does Mrs. Carstairs know you are here? That's all right, Rosa. He came with me. Yes, ma'am. Oh, Mr. Hammer. You didn't get yourself a drink. Allow me. Vodka on the rocks, half a twist, shaken, not stirred. Am I right? No, that's that limey jerk. I'm a beer drinking hombre. Root beer. Over here, Hammer. You're not looking cool enough. While you're strolling around, it's a nice touch to eat some fruit. Good image. Here we are. Mm. <laughs> Mr. Hammer. Why are you eating a wax apple? Why am I eating a wax apple? You're on your own with that one, pal. <laughs> you know, I, I can't thank you enough for taking this case. Hey, what's wrong with your fish? Oh, well, Henry had them gold-plated. It was a nice idea, but they sank. <laughs> You may have been in who's who, but obviously you didn't know what's what. And now he's dead, dead. Yeah, what do I do now? I just hang out and wait for him to show up? You got a lot to learn, pal. Now is when I made out with my client. It's part of the job, get it? What did you do when you had male clients? I never took those cases. Oh. <sighs> no, I'm so glad you took this case. I feel safer already. Move in, Hammer. She's coming on to you like gangbusters. Mm. Hammer? You know... I haven't had a man in weeks. I have needs too, Sledge. Not while I'm on duty. Oh, 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 my stomach. Yo, it's killing me. Oh, I gotta lie down. I gotta lie down. Over, over here, come on, over here. You'll be fine. Great. 
She has needs and you get a stomach ache. In my day, I used to down three pints of the hot stuff every day. And that's when I was an aircraft pilot. Oh, oh why do I feel like this? Maybe a wax apple isn't on your diet. Hammer. Hammer, get up. The creep's here. Come on, get a hold of yourself. You Where'd you get the gun? It's my husband. Well, if he had a gun, why did you hire me? I didn't know if I could kill anyone. <laughs> now you know. Hold it, Hammer. Make sure she knows you don't give refunds. Case closed and not one shot fired. Sorry, old friend. Hammer, I mean, what the hell are you doing here? Mrs. Carstairs paid me to be here. I'm a PI now. Are you telling me that you solved this case? You got it. The stiff is her husband's attorney. He attacked her, and she shot him in self-defense. Simple. And you saw what happened? From that couch right over there. Best seat in the house. I'm very proud of you, Sledge. Yeah, I'm proud of me, too. I usually am. Sledge. Did all right, didn't I? I think you're a sap. A sap? What are you talking about? Look, you gun-happy freak. Don't you think it's a little strange that you pass out just when Mrs. Scarstair shoots the one man who's a suspect? Happens every week on Moonlighting. Cut out the baloney. You've got to get back to the Carstairs house and slap her around a little bit. That sounds good to me. Find out what really happened. What about her? We'll be back before she can comb her hair. Oh, Mr. Hammer, what are you doing here? Just came to solve the real mystery. What are you talking about? Now I want you to listen and listen good because I'm only going to say this once. <gasps> this is how I see it. You killed your husband while you were in cahoots with your attorney. The two of you planned to split the money. You made a date to meet him and then you arranged to have me see you kill him. Nice alibi. Ex-cop sees poor widow kill mean man who was trying to take her money. Not a dry tear in the house. Nice wrap-up, kid. Thanks. You've forgotten one thing, Mr. Hammer. Oh, yeah? If that were all true, then who shot at me in the office? Hmm? Who shot at her? <laughs> Whoever shot at her is going into reruns. Raise your hands in your hammer. So it was you all the time. Almost right. But when Mrs. Carstairs was going to kill her murdered husband's attorney, she needed an accomplice. The reason you believe she was in danger was because I shot at her when she was in your office. So I was right. You were going to make me the perfect alibi. 
We were going to split the money until I thought it might be better to have all the money to myself, personally. In the old days, the butler did it. Now it's the maid. What an era. You can't shoot me here. Don't you think the neighbors will find it a little suspicious? All this noise and three murders in one day? No one will notice. Our neighbor's Bruce Willis. Maybe you're right. It might be more perfect if you join Mr. Carstairs. Adios, Senor Hammer. got me into this. How about a little help? Go and look already, huh? It does not become you, Senor Helmer. i like to help you, pal, but you're forgetting the rules. I'm not here, remember? But we've been through a lot together. This is no time to bail out. Come on, I need some help. You're made to be broken. But don't you think you ought to tie her up or something? Are you kidding? She's not going anywhere. After that kiss, she may never move again. Here's looking at you, kid. Hey, that's my line. Could have used me for fish bait. Weren't you a little late? Stuck at the beauty parlor. How'd you know I was here? Just a wild guess. Hammer, I never thought I'd say these words. You're back on the force. I know. The commissioner needed me, right? No. You found out you're even more dangerous as a private eye. Laurel, come on. Thanks. What was your name again? Spade, Marlowe, Diamond. What's the difference? Will I ever see you again? If you ever need me, uh, just whistle. You know how to whistle, don't you? Just pucker up your lips and blow. I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. I should have told him he can't walk on water until he's up here with me. <laughs> <laughs> 